Episode 2 doesn't rock so much. It's getting deleted in a lot of Facebook groups. It is like I tell you, they don't fight fair. No, it is because of my terrible English. Do I need to learn English first before I go on with this project? No, the message is too important. We don't need to be so sensitive. I think what we saw in episode 2 speak for itself. Finally, Wing Chun was in a bad situation, but marketing and propaganda saved them all for a time. They sell them stuff as self-defense, based on no rules with the dangerous spade hands in the throat, cue though in the eyes, kicks to the groins, and that's why they can't do competition or even sparring. Their main point was defense versus single and multiple unarmed and armed opponents. Sport fighting for them is different. Sport fighting had rules. It restricts Wing Chun too much. Sport fighting must be fair. No dangerous techniques allowed. It's funny because it sounds logical for everybody who isn't in touch with full contact fighting. Let's see what the grandson of Helio Gracie, Rena Gracie, have to say about this. Yeah, I go the eyes, I go for the throat, because I'm not limited by sport. Well, actually, you're so limited because you can only make it work if you can get to the eyes and like end someone's yeah, life. Well, not to mention, I know you know where my eyes are, and I know where your eyes are. And balls. And anything. The bottom line is, whatever you can do, dirty techniques. I can do those too, so then we're neutral, we're the same, okay? So now, now that we've neutralized at that level, let's go to a level of, okay, what else can you offer to the situation in positional dominance, controlling the distance, managing the dangerous strikes? Would you say it's time for our viewers to crack each other's heads open? Yes, I would be. With the rise of the internet, more and more lies getting exposed, more and more embarrassing videos come up, and in 2006, with the start of YouTube, the deep fall of the Wing Chun self-defense program seller begun. There is nothing much to say. There was uncountable skillless videos and on the end MMA finished it for everybody who tried to prove. MMA exposed a lot of traditional styles and combat systems, just like they exposed Wing Chun. But a few practitioners tried to come up to MMA. Some passionate Wing Chun master had the heart of fighter. They are very raw. They face themselves with the reality of fighting. Not in the world of that lunatic Wing Chun self-defense specialist. They do something logical. They invite and go to the people who fight in the world of combat sports. They go to boxing, kickboxing and Thai boxing training to test, to find out and to work it out. Now we come a little bit closer. These activities are the origin of the Wing Chun mutations. The fighter between the Wing Chun masters and students find out in different ways them system doesn't work. Of course, they was motivated to fix these practical problems. In the kickbox, box, Thai box training, they find out that nothing runs like they train it in them Wing Chun training. They couldn't get the real pressure of an uncooperative opponent. They find out about the problems of the stance and footwork. They missed offensive power in them Wing Chun techniques. And the defense doesn't work anyway. I know, they are in love with Wing Chun, but at first they are persons with the heart of fighters. Them goal was the ability to fight, not to solve any problems of Wing Chun. For them was important to fix the practical problems in fight action, to be successful, not to hold some standards in technique or to protect the genome of Wing Chun. There was nothing more closer than to replace weaknesses with techniques from the styles who beat them up in training. They fit in. The stands from eras and zero weight rules to simple side stands and the connected footwork. There was no circle cross or drop steps anymore. To survive in defense, they used double cover. There is no spatial defense. The offense suffer the most. It's a wild mixture of boxing like Wing Chun punching with low and roundhouse kicks. So it happens that almost all competing Wing Chun fight under the flag of Wing Chun but the moves look like hostility learned Thai boxing. Finally, it's a natural reaction. They had problems. They fixed it with what the combat sport offer, just like Bruce Lee did in his time. He learned Wing Chun basics and filled the rest with what the martial arts market offer for him. This is Jikundo. 
Use every possible source and use what is useful for you. Jeet Kune Do is a great concept. It is like a translation of ideas and the philosophy of Wing Chun for non-Wing Chun people. In practical, Bruce show how he transformed Wing Chun mechanics on his kind of movement and how to compose it individuality with the help of other martial arts. That's what Jeet Kune Do means, individual composition. If somebody solves his problems with replacing Speak it out. all of the Jeet Kune Do concept, that's great. Jeet Kune Do practically is a Wing Chun mutation. Bruce Lee changed the Wing Chun genome spontaneously, I don't know, but permanent. In the genomes of Wing Chun is no low kick, no roundhouse kick, no side stance or no jab with a leading hand. He had what was useful and delayed, what was useless for him. Again, this is okay, but this is no Wing Chun. They can win with that, but they cannot use Wing Chun. The major Wing Chun attributes are frontal and straight stance with circle and drop steps, chain attacking pattern, trapping arms, spatial defense and more. But this is another story. Watch out for my conclusion in the next episode 4, Wing Chun, the non-fighting culture out of the fatal fail of Wing Chun in full contact fighting series. There we will get the insight as the first step to improvement. We will define the problems of Wing Chun and how we can fix them. See you there.